compare simulated absorbed dose distributions in water with experimental dose profiles, it is first necessary to write the latter in a format suitable for Primo. Each experimental profile must be written in a separate file in ASCII format and the file name must have the dot .dat extension. The file name must only contain alphabetic characters from A to Z, numbers, underscores and hyphens. No other symbol, including blanks, are allowed. One dot must only appear to denote the extension. To edit the files with experimental data, it is necessary to use a text editor. Word processors are not suitable since they insert invisible characters that will produce errors when read by Primo. Comment lines can be inserted by preceding them with a hash sign. Data lines must always contain four entries. The first three entries are the position of the effective point of measurement expressed in centimeters. The order of coordinates is x, y and z. The fourth entry is the dose in arbitrary units. Notice that the decimal separator is a dot. The four entries are separated by an arbitrary number of blanks, at least one. Each line ends with a carriage return. The file shown on the screen corresponds to a centered depth dose distribution. This is evident from the fact that x and y columns are zero, while the values from the z column increase from zero up to 31 centimeters. A centered lateral profile taking along the x-axis looks like this with x values varying from negative to positive numbers. The depth at which the lateral profile has been measured is given by the set coordinate, in this case 5 cm. We now launch Primo and load a previously computed project in which those distribution was tallied. The user must be certain that the simulation conditions such as field size, energy, and source-to-surface distance correspond with those used to acquire the experimental data. To compare with the experimental data, we click the Plan and Dose tab, and then the corresponding button. In the browser, we choose the ASCII file containing the relevant profile, in this case a depth dose distribution. The dose curve comparison window shows a plot of both profiles together with a plot of the difference. The normalization method of both curves can be chosen from the drop down menu on the left. The passing criteria for the gamma analysis can also be changed. Numerical results appear on the right. All numerical results and plots from this window can be saved to an ASCII file that must follow the already explained convention for file names. The file must have the DAT extension.